Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate data column name. Data column name is a unique identifier of your question. The field is mandatory for every question and it accepts numbers, letters and underscore. So let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on this button to create a form. Now, I'm going to create something like, uh, what is your name? And I'm going to click on add question. Then I'm going to select this. This is open-ended question for respondents. That's why I'm using test. So they can type whatever they want. So the next thing I'm going to do in order to generate a data column name is to click on setting. And as you can see, it's automatically generated data column name for our question. Note that this is what is going to appear on the header of our spreadsheet. For example, this is my spreadsheet. If you download the data to Excel, you're going to have something like this. And on each column is the name of the data column name. You enter into the Kobo toolbox. You can see I have gender of respondents. That is what I make use of in this particular data column name. So what you use in the data column name is going to appear on the header of your spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do now is to, I want to rename this data column name to something like name. So, and I'm going to just close it. Now, I want to make use of this name. So I just want to show you guys the power of the data column name. So I'm going to be making use of this name. Like I said earlier, that this data column name is a unique identifier of this question. For example, if I want to reuse the uh, option of this particular question, what I need to do is just to call the data column name in the next question and it's going to appear in the next question. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So I'm going to click on this button again and say that um, how old is... So to call this particular name, you know, this first question is what is your name? And I need to call this particular name in the next question. So what I'm going to do is just to make use of the data column name. So I'm going to say that how old is, and to do that, I'm going to use dollar sign. That is the syntax used in Kobo Toolbox. Dollar sign, open curly bracket, and I'm going to copy what is inside the data column name into the curly bracket, and I'm going to close it. As you can see, here I have how old how old, let me see, how old is the name of the first of the respondent? You can see. Then the next thing I'm going to do is just to click on add question and select number. So the first question is going to appear like this. What is your name? If I enter, my name is David. Then the next question will be, how old is David? Because I'm calling, I want to reuse the information on the first question in the next question. So to do that, what I need to do is just to call the data column name of the first question into the next question. So let's see it. So I'm going to click on preview. So when I click on preview, what I need to do is just to enter the information. What is your name? So I'm going to enter show. So you're going to see the power of the data column name. So when I click on enter to go to the next question, as you can see, and I have how old is show, which means that it's calling the information here into the next question. So when I say David, for instance, and I type in enter, you can you, you see you're gonna have something like how old is David. So it's changed from show to David. So it's picking the information in the first question into the next question, more or less like a function in programming when, where you need to reuse a particular information. So 
that is similar to this. So what is your name? You can see in the next question, it appears like, how old is David? What, since I make use of David as my name, David is going to appear in the next question, which is how old is David? So when I press, let's say 18, and I click on validate, so the question is, the form is valid. So I can go back and probably use the same information. Let's say, what is the gender of the respondent? So I'm going to do that. Instead of using what is the gender of the respondent, which I don't need. So to identify the respondent, what I need to do is just to click to clean this off and use the data column name to identify the respondent. So I'm going to use dollar sign, open curly bracket. The, the data column name is name. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to reuse the information. Then what I need to do is just to close the curly bracket. So I'm going to click on add question. What is the gender of the respondent? So I'm going to use male, female, and probably prefer not to say. So let's try this. So I'm going to click on save, and I'm going to click on preview form. So I have, what is your name? So I'm going to enter show, and show is going to appear in the next question. How old is show? You can see, so I can enter 18. Then in my next question, what is the gender of show? So I can click on male. So that is how to make use of data column. So other function of data column is, for example, if I want to perform some calculation in Kobo Toolbox, I can make use of data column, which I'm going to show you in the next, in one of these videos in this course. So that is how to make use of data column. Thank you.